two things become four times better. You following me? Because what we have to do is we have to make sure we have the right vitamins to heal. But then we've got to make sure we control inflammation. Well, we can do that with a sup some supplements. And what I love to do is build supplements that are easy to take, which have everything in them. So you don't spend a lot of money. And you can remember to take them. Because how many people can remember to take 20 bottles worth of supplements? You following me? So controlling inflammation in Austin without a hyperbaric chamber, I use supplements and sometimes medicines. If you use supplements and medicines occasionally and you throw in hyperbaric oxygen, you're twice as good at controlling this. Because what's the first step? Inflammation control. Second step is mitochondrial energy, right? We have supplements for this. But guess what else happens? Helps it. You following me? And then dopamine support. As far as I know, hyperbaric may help with this acutely, but it doesn't fix it. So that's where we have to use supplements. You following me? Now, what we've developed is some supplements, and I'll run through them. And Dr. Tim is an expert in these things. He came to Austin, spent a lot of time with this. He understands them. The testing that we use not only tells you how well you're recovering, but what we need to make sure we control as we recover without guessing. We don't want to guess. Okay? So this has all of the cofactors. Now, the methylated vitamins are known to not absorb very well orally. So guess how we used to give them? A shot every day. Now, how many people want to do that? So why I'm here to see you is I decided I woke up one night after praying real hard and said, you know what, these are fat soluble vitamins. Why can't I put them in an oil and put them right through the skin? So I sent it to the pharmacist and the compounding pharmacist made this for me. We started tweaking the doses and adjusting it, kind of got it all right, but you know what? Pharmacists are not good lotion makers. Because <laughs> these vitamins are magenta. And when you rub them on from the pharmacist, you walk around with magenta. Okay? So I licensed it to Neurobiologics, who makes pharmaceutical grade nutrients, and they decided to do something that was the smartest thing ever. They sent it to the cosmetic people. And you know cosmetic people make beautiful lotions. <laughs> and it also brought the price down into a third. Okay? So this is a little squirt of lotion that starts out magenta and when you rub it, it emulsifies and goes right through your skin and you can't even see it. Okay? And it's 98% as effective as a shot. You understand? And we use it twice a day to get these vitamins into the body. Now it probably will not be enough vitamin D to overcome the problem, so you'll probably have additional but what it will do is take care of all the cofactors. Now the only comment I'm going to have is this cofactor, if you have that blocking antibody, we have to add either a prescription or over-the-counter additional element on top of the lotion to help those people with a blocking antibody. So quantity and amount is important. When you bake a cake, it's not knowing the ingredients, it's knowing how much of each ingredient is important, right? This took us about three years to get the formula right. Do you bake a cake better now than you used to? You don't bake cakes. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I want you to understand that all the ingredients are important. But what I didn't want to do is have you take five bottles. Because how well are you going to keep up with that? And it doesn't even get absorbed very well. Go ahead. So it restores the cofactors for immune recovery, for mitochondrial energy, for nutritional delivery and for dopamine production. Okay? It also drives this T cell balance back up to level out and control the B cells. Now, inflammation control is a big problem. Now, you're lucky you have hyperbarics. In this formula, we use monolaurin and lysine, which are very well tolerated viral agents, grapeseed, grapefruit seed, olive leaf, and B propolis to control bacterial and yeast, and we also use cinnamon bark in there to control blood sugars, okay? Because that's what yeast and bacteria love to eat, right? So this works really well, but you've got hyperbarics too. So what we know about hyperbarics is a lot. Hyperbarics decrease inflammation of both the gastrointestinal and the nervous system. 
That's why you're using them. They enhance the immune system function. If you have the right vitamins. You following me? If you don't, do you have any gas in your car? A tune-up makes your car run better, right? But not if it doesn't have any gas. They go together. It has been shown to increase glutathione by 15% when you do use it. And it decreases oxidative stress throughout the body, which is in turn is inflammation. So you see how they fold together? So what I've been trying to teach Anson and Dr. Tim is something very simple. Don't do one without the other. Not if I can get a four times better response. Right? Kind of like money. Wouldn't you like to invest your money and get a four times better response? Well, that's what you're doing. You're investing in health. It's much more important. Yes, ma'am. Hyperbaric gets complicated when you throw an epilepsy though. The answer is yes, but you, you never throw an epileptic patient straight into hyperbarics. I don't take a 90-year-old lady straight to surgery, do I? Would I take a 90-year-old lady straight to surgery? No, why? why? She's not ready for it, right? So when we deal with epilepsy, we have to drive the dopamine high by using methylfolate at a high level because dopamine being raised is what decreases the threshold for seizures. Do you understand? You use the lotion plus leucovorin orally. Leucovorin, folinic acid. Dr. Tim can help you with that, okay? And we'll talk about that. But what you never do is you've got to get that patient ready. And then when the seizures have actually come down and you're under control to a reasonable doubt, then you can come in with the hyperbaric and eradicate them. If you throw a seizure person in there that you haven't gotten ready, you're going to make it worse usually. Do you understand? Because there's a killing effect. Now what we know about seizures, seizures can only come from two things. The myelin around the nerve, let me, let me take you through. If I take a pipe and I put a thousand copper wires in that pipe but I don't insulate the wires well and I send one wire of electricity into that pipe, how many come out the other end? A lot of them, right? So what's happened is electricity has escaped from one wire to the next. Now the problem is with seizures, it's the same thing happening. Either the myelin is not there, which is fairly rare, or there are these little cells called glial cells. They carry the myelin. Now what happens when you inflame your knee? What does it do? Well, what else? Swells, right? What's it swell with? Water. Do you drop, do you do your blow dryer in the bathtub? Well. Uh, would you dry your curling iron in the bathtub when you're in there? No. You know why? Because you get electrocuted. So when those glial cells swell with water, it lets the electricity escape. Do you understand? So if we get activity in one area, all of a sudden it's out into the other areas around it. Am I making sense? We'll talk about it if you need to, okay? But the thing is, is you never get the horse before the cart. I mean the cart before the horse. You've got to make sure that you time each of these things right. Do you understand? Now, proper cellular energy, mitochondria, weakness is more prevalent than we know. The problem is we don't have a great test for it. You know what our test is? Do you have weak muscles? That's pretty much our test for it. Is your, is your muscle tone low? Are you fatigued? Do you understand? Isn't that ridiculous? We really don't have a marker. Now we think homocysteine might be a marker, but we don't know yet. Okay? Why is it that when I took him to the neurologist, he showed up not having mitochondria on the blood test? Because there's no markers in the blood. You can even do muscle biopsies. Exactly. So this is subclinical. Do you understand? Listen, I'm an expert in mitochondrial disease if you want to talk about it. But the whole idea is, I can tell you, even if you take a muscle biopsy and you isolate the mitochondria, there's no steadfast test. And there are about, oh, 15 or 20 mitochondrial experts in the country. And what the biggest problem is between them is, guess what? We don't have a good test. So we have to measure all these markers and hope we find it. Okay? Muscles have up to 100 mitochondria. So if your muscle's weak, it's got 100 batteries in it. Nerves have five, usually. 
So if you've got muscle weakness, how bad is it in your nerves? Pretty bad, right? Neural immune cells have four to five in the collapse of symptoms, poor muscle tone, fatigue, slow healing, slow recovery from exercise. That's pretty much all we've got. Now I'll tell you that's being 48, right? This is being over 50 right here. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> it's hard. There's no great answer. Do you see what I'm saying? Go ahead. So what happened is that we've actually learned that we can actually recover mitochondria to a certain degree, but it takes 15 bottles of supplements. And the problem is even if you package them together, they used to cost about $300 a month, which is really expensive. So what we decided to do was take all these things and put them into one capsule. Because guess what you're really paying for? The packaging. So when you put it all together, you get a mitochondrial restorative formula with everything in it for a retail of about $58. You following me? And if you're going to take 15 bottles, what's the chance of you taking one bottle better than 15? Pretty easy. Go ahead. So dopamine is really important too. Dopamine controls short-term memory, concentration, focus, organization, skills, eye movements, eye tracking, eye focusing, sleep patterns, mood stability, pain threshold, seizure threshold, hormonal regulation, pituitary regulation, <laughs> bowel motility, and I can keep going, fine motor skill. Do you understand? It's a big deal. And this is where most of the symptoms come through. And I will tell you, you and I have days where we don't have enough dopamine either. Every one of us have good days and bad days. It's just that we have the capability, most of us, to actually replenish our supply when we fall asleep at night. But if you don't have the co common cofactors, you can't take tyrosine, which is the um, amino acid that makes dopamine and convert it. So you slept all night and you got no more dopamine. Do you understand? Okay. Now we can actually help that with what we call methyl donors. How many of you seen those kids running around with Red Bulls and Monster drinks? Yeah. Okay. Clever. What they did is they took some caffeine to stimulate dopamine and then they took taurine to help it work better. Well we decided to go ahead and put all five of them in there without the caffeine. Yeah. Okay so that it makes your dopamine that's there work better. And then we also threw in a couple to make the acetylcholine work better. Go ahead. So it turns out that we can also help the mitochondria and dopamine with, with the hyperbaric. We can enhance the energy production of the mitochondria if we have the right cofactors, right? We can increase this intracellular nitric oxide, not extracellular, intracellular. This is what immune cells use to kill things. And then we can show an increased availability of the neurotransmitter. So, if I've hammered it home enough, they need to be used in conjunction. And then, basically, we also have a calming cream, and this is the mother's favorite lotion. Yes. And you can talk to the moms around here. It's, you know, I made this for the kids to calm down, which has, it has tyrosine, theanine, and 5-hydroxytryptophan, but a whole lot of these and not very much of that. Okay? And then it has lavender oil, but what happened is the mom's all. And all my nurses are over there just rubbing themselves because it works. If you put it on the skin, you can swallow these. And if you swallow them, the problem is the liver removes most of it. But if you put it on the skin, it bypasses and it goes straight to the brain. So 10 or 15 minutes later, you just kind of relax. The ladies say it's kind of like having a couple of drinks, but you don't buzz. <laughs> So you just get real chatty and relaxed, okay? You know how ladies out with their drinking. Okay, go ahead. So the whole idea is we've developed a line to help you that Dr. Tim can certainly help you with. Go ahead. Now, let me show you how it works. Go ahead. This is a 10-year-old boy had issues with distractibility, focus, and concentration since he was young, diagnosed with dyslexia and dysgraphia at age five. He's always been a light sleeper. His mother states he's had low muscle tone. He tends to have occasional bouts of aggression. He has bowel abnormalities on and off since he was two. He does not play team sport because he's clumsy and distractible. He was an OT in speech for many years but is currently not in therapy. Loves video games. Parents think he's smart but he's just an underachiever in school. Diet is terrible and the parents said all he wants to eat is sugars and sweets. How many people does that sound like? Lots of kids, right? His blood work was normal. 